Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and before we hop in, shout out to Ryan for winning the last giveaway, and let's hop right into this. So we have that woman took my shoes with 882 rating versus Gary Gamer 7 with 1407 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. So we are going to see that woman took my shoes, decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Also... Uh, this is on the new computer, so uh, if there's any like mess ups in the uh, like the video, let me know. Uh, Cause like I'm still setting everything up, uh, so just comment down below if anything messes up. Uh, opening hands, we have Chuchi, Imperm, Ash, GG, and City. So this works. Even going second, they have multiple hand traps, and then they have Droplet, Imperm, Gamma, Driver, Nib. So they have a lot of going second cards. Uh, no engine. They're gonna go ahead and activate City, bring out Choo Chi, and then GG effect is gonna go dump Qinglong, bring itself out, and then Qinglong effect, banish itself to go search out the Lulu, and then discard Choo Chi, and then Lulu effect, they're gonna chain Gamma, and then they're gonna chain Ash Blossom to negate Gamma. So dump Qinglong, Add Roshi and summon itself out. And then Chuchi effect to raise the level of GG. And get rid of those to go for Shen Shen. Set Imperm. And then they're going to go end phase. GG is going to add back Lulu. Pass. So this isn't bad. I mean, this is three interruptions. Or like Chuchi and Imperm, like hard interruptions. And then this just being like a, like a mini floodgate. They draw Kit. Um, yeah, that's not gonna solve anything, like, even if you, like, Imperm Shen Shen and Normal Summon, you actually just aren't doing anything with that. So, they're gonna go ahead, set Imperm Pass, draw Qinglong, and then activate the Roshi effect on Chu Chi, dump Nian, summon out, and then summon back out the GG from Graveyard. And then Nian effect, bring itself out. So it's definitely interesting that they're main decking Nib. Uh, that's not super common. Uh, the thing about like main deck Nib is when it becomes like super common, that's when everyone plays around it, and then that's when it becomes bad. And then when nobody's main decking Nib, that's when nobody's playing around it, and then it's good game one. But even still, like this card's like weird in a lot of matchups right now. But it's gonna end up being good here. They're gonna use Charge Warrior and Nian, put back Chu Chi and draw Roshi. And then overlay for M7. Uh, so they summon Roshi, GG, Nian, Synchro, XYZ. So they're gonna activate Nib on that summon. Go ahead and tribute and pass over token. Then they're gonna activate the Qinglong effect, banish. And then that's going to go through. And then searching out the GG and discarding Roshi. So deciding to discard Roshi over like Qinglong. Alright. Alright. So activate the GG effect. Go dump Nian, summon out. And then Lulu effect. It's going to target GG. And then dump Chu Chi, add City. And then special summon that out. Um, this has 55. So, they could go ahead and summon our... I mean, there's a lot of different ways for game here. Because, like, you can switch this to attack with the Sean Wu. And then that's just going to end up being game. Let's see if they see that. A lot of people always forget that effect. We brought that up last time we had Virtual World on the channel. Choo Chi up the level, go for Vermilion, Vermilion effect, pop the back row, chain Imperm, and then they're going to chain Choo Chi. Oh, they let it go through. Oh, why would you let that go through? Oh, yeah, they just, they... I feel like they got to know the Sean Wu, though, if they're bringing it out. Oh, they forgot Imperm negated Choo Chi. They don't go back because it's not cost. Yeah, they reminded them. Wow. 
Yeah, go ahead, switch. Unfortunate. Yeah, because this would have just been 3,000 more damage per game. End phase, add back Glulu, pass, draw tanky. And then they were going to start this turn off by normal summon kit. And then on summon, they're going to activate Chuchi. Uh, I'm guessing they just want to do this before like an Almirage comes out and can protect. And then go grab Kuraz, activate Tanky, grab Fractal. And then ditch Fractal to summon out Kuraz. Effect, banish two. Yeah, banishing two off that. And then chain Imperm, chain Droplet to dodge the Imperm. Bring out Bear Bloom. This isn't like a good position though. Because like they're discarding the summon back, but this just isn't game. So they're going to use the effect. Banish 2 to summon out. Thinking here. The double dragon lords. And then activate that effect. Can't believe I played through Niv just to forget about an imperm zone. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. Uh, they still win this game though. So at least it didn't end up making them lose. Then go for silver. And turn those into access code. And then they're going to activate that effect. Popple 3, Battle Face Poke. And then go ahead, pass, draw Ash. And then they're going to Sean Wu, bring out GG, discard Chinglong. And then Neon effect. Like, there's just so many different ways to go for a game here. Uh, they're going to Choo Chi up the level and then go for the Vermilion. Uh, yeah, sure, use Neon. Uh, Shen Shen's going to end up bringing itself out. And then Battle Phase game. So, going on to game two, we are going to see the Tri Brigade player be going first. Opening hands, we have Neon, Nib, Chu Chi, Ching Long, and Imperm. Really bad hand. Um, they have hand traps, but they don't have an engine yet. Then they have Ash, Talents, Desires, Fractal, and Kip. So, this definitely works. So they're going to be starting off by activating Desires and Banishing 10. And then this will be drawing into, I guess we'll look at the Banish real quick. So we see two Nerval. All right, so two Nerval. And then draw into Anti-Spell and Kuraz. It's going to make it even harder for the Virtual World player to unbrick their hand here. So Fractal effect the dump, dump kit, dump Nerval, Nerval effect, grab the Fractal, and then normal summon that. Okay, so they're going to grab kit, not Fractal. Um, okay. And then normal summon out kit, effect, banish two, and then summon out the double dragon lord, special summon Kuraz, but getting rid of kit, and then banishing those to summon out bear bloom, and then turn all of those into Appalooza. Bear Bloom, grab Revolt. I mean, they could have just dropped Nib, right? Like, without having to use Imperm. Like, just, just, like, right there. I think it's, uh, kind of obvious that is coming down. So maybe you just drop this and then you get to hold that. I mean, it plays in the Talons, but, like... Uh, it's probably just worth trying to do. It's not like they're going to be extending more from there. Pass, draw Shan Wu. Flip the anti-spell. Normal summon out Neon. And then they're going to activate Revolt. Yeah, I mean, it's already a game. Uh, just them coming back from this position, I just don't see happening. Unless if Gary Gamer plays horrible. And they just admit defeat. So... Going on to game three, we're going to see the virtual world player decide to go first. Also, I've been trying to get a little bit less tri brigade since like seems like everybody has been not wanting to see this deck as much. But it's extremely hard because I usually upload like three videos a day, like roughly. And with this being like the most played deck, like it, it's just gonna end up on the channel a lot. And yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to dodge it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. And like, I'm okay with having it in the video. Um, 
I mean, the deck's not, like, insane to see or anything, but it's kind of just there. Uh, it's cool to, like, see techs in it. We've seen some uh, cool tech cards from time to time. Uh, like, the Needle Fiber play, that, that was pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. Savage Equip Omen. Whew. But opening hands, we have Imperm, Lulu, Desires, Chuchi, Lulu. So, this works. Um, Desires will also be able to fix it a little bit more. And then they have Cat, Caress, Tanky, Nerval, and Talent. So, no hand traps on that side. Honestly, it's going to make it really hard for them to win this. They are going to have a draw for turn and potentially a draw two off Talons. And we do know Droplets in their deck. So that could definitely help out. Um, we can see like Cosmic, Phantasme, Nib. Uh, just like some of like their tech cards. But then they banish like the one of Sean Wu, two Qinglong, two Roshi, a Nian. Then draw on to Kid. That's a lot of Lulu. That is a lot of Lulu. Normal Summon Lulu. And then Kieran effect on it. Go dump Chinglong and Chuchi. And then Lulu effect. It's going to dump City, summon itself out. And then, yeah, they, they don't have a trap to search. They've already gone through all three other traps. Chuchi up the level. And then turn those into Zulkin. Set Chuchi. And then we're going to see Zulkin effect. Special summon out Crystal Wing. And then Chinglong banish. And then they're going to grab Roshi, discard Lulu, and then Roshi effect. And then it's going to dump City, summon out, and then bring out the Kirin. And then get rid of those to go for Shenshen. Set the Imperm. And then go ahead and pass. So, I mean, they have a Macro, a Negate, a Negate, and a Pop. Not the strongest setup uh, when it comes to like follow up. Like this deck can obviously do a lot more, but this still isn't like bad. And they draw gamma, and then activate tanky, go search out fractal, and then fractal effect, dump kit, dump nerval, add kit. And then let's see how they're gonna play this out. They're gonna normal summon out kit. And then effect, banish two, chain crystal wing to negate that, gets banished because of Shenshen. And then activate talents to draw, draw caress talents. Oh, that's, that's game. Get rid of cat, summon caress. And then activate Chuchi, it's gonna pop that. Pass, draw nib. Um, honestly, they can just, uh, they can just tri they don't even have to tribute if they don't want to, but I feel like they're going to to play around. Uh, yeah, I feel like they're going to to play around Gamma. Cause like, uh, you can go ahead and like switch this to attack. Like, like let's say you didn't draw Nib here, and you just didn't care about Gamma. Uh, what you could do is you could like switch this to attack, switch this to attack, battle phase, uh, go ahead. And they could, well, I guess it would be kind of hard. And I guess, oh, you'd have to like switch this to attack too, or like one of these. And you go ahead and you'd poke for 28 and then you'd attack with zero. Shenshen effect to go ahead and put, try to put one back. Crystal wing negate and destroy that. Make this gang attack and attack for game. Yeah, so you'd have to like switch one of these to attack to do that. But they drew Nib, so uh, hopefully they do play around Gamma. Yep, and then go ahead and attack for game. Said GG's. Uh, they didn't say it back, unfortunately. And they even asked what the set was without even like, because like they pointed at it without uh, that saying GG's. Unfortunate. Uh, seeing how long the match was. Wow, it's actually a decently long match, like almost 39 minutes long. Uh, not bad match though. They were definitely like a misplay game one. Uh, they still won though. I uh, got to got to talk about the Sean Wu. Got to talk about like the Crystal Wing, uh, Shen Shen combo that a lot of people just don't know. It reminds me of the old uh, Raijin Crystal Wing combo that was done back in the uh, Invoked Wind Witch artifact deck back in like Zoo format. 
Uh, yeah, that, that deck was cool. They would like play like Book of Eclipse and stuff, Quaking Mirror Force, and set all the zoos, and they all had zero defense, and then Purgatrio, just bow, 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 bow. Definitely a cool deck. Uh, but again, if there was anything like wrong with the video, uh, please just comment down below. I am on a new PC, so I would definitely appreciate the feedback as it's kind of uh, it's kind of necessary uh, for sure in case if I overlooked anything. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.